I'm Simon from AdventureSeries.com. A uh, little bit of a different adventure this time, actually. I'm taking the Land Rover 110 and I'm heading out to the Ukrainian border to take aid. Uh, a guy called Jeff put uh, like a message out on Facebook to say anybody uh, want to come and take aid, uh, do a Land Rover aid convoy. I said, sure, why not? started, a bit noisy because I'm in the cab, um, on my way down to Kent near Tunbridge, um, got another hour and 45 to go, it's um, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the morning, half 7, 10, 10 to 8 in the morning, should be there about 10 o'clock, meet up with the rest of the team and uh, start loading the kit into the back of the Land Rover, it's going to be empty, um, and uh, yeah, and then we've got a bit of an easy afternoon and then we get the very first thing tomorrow morning at 7.20 in the morning so it should be in France by 8 um, so the hour difference and then we can crack on across um, Belgium, Germany etc and probably get somewhere into Germany tomorrow we'll see how it goes four in the morning um, we're just about to leave Kent Crowborough we've been staying with Bunny overnight uh, he's one of the group not met before but no, top top guy um, so yeah we're just we're all loaded up and ready to go very early so that's why I'm being quiet uh, so we're gonna make our way to Euro Tunnel now two of the vehicles have tried to get in couldn't they had some weird ticket stuff thing going on um, so we're two vehicles down so far because they haven't been able to get in uh, and we're waiting on another two to arrive so we'll see the train leaves in about uh, 30 35 minutes or something like that so we might end up on the other side of the channel and we might, we might if we're lucky end up with some other vehicles don't know we'll see what happens it's never never easy is it Thank you, my dear. Love to all the Ukrainians. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Just crossed uh, into Belgium. So we're heading towards Brussels now. Uh, four Land Rovers in a transit van with a flat van. Um, we all made it this far. A little bit of a confusion slash wrong bookings, etc. For the, for the Euro Tunnel, but we got there in the end. We all met up on the other side. And uh, now we're just cruising. 60, uh, we're doing 100, 100 k's an hour, which is not bad because we're towing, some of the vehicles are towing. And uh, we're just going to crack on, we're an hour and a half away from Brussels, fuel stop, punch on into Germany. kilometers to the east. Um, we arrived about 8 p.m. 20 hundred and 
we set up, we camped, we slept in vehicles, some of us had roof tents. And uh, it's a glorious morning. Ukraine, Krakow, Poland. 800 kilometers, bash on, crack on, funny out. miles from the Polish-German border, German-Poland border, uh, and interestingly the road coming the other way, the carriageway the other way is chocker with lorries and cars and stuff, but going this way it's very quiet actually, we've seen a few lorries but actually most of those were carrying aid back there, um, there's not that many cars, we just met a bloke in the service station from Scotland who uh, has got a bunch of, just filled up his car with a bunch of aid and stuff. Uh, he's actually heading to Lviv, so he's going over the border right into Lviv, just on his own, just some random Scottish bloke. Very random. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We're, maybe, maybe all the traffic going the other way knows something we don't. We'll find out, I guess. Give it the skates on. That looked like something from the seventies. So we just made it into Krakow. Uh, it's like five thirty in the afternoon. So we start at seven, so what's that? I don't know, 10 hours, 12 hours, something like that, 10 hours. Um, yeah, so it's gone well, and we're all made it. Uh, so we're gonna overnight here, meet up with, um, with the Polish contacts, and then we're gonna head to the border tomorrow morning. <laughs> He's on camera. Just leaving uh, Krakow, or well, leaving the hotel, very nice hotel, good evening. And we're gonna yeah, head up to the border, try and find our contact up there, who's a priest, who is liaising with the other side, and we'll see how we get on. Keep you posted. Probably screen. Keep you posted. Like all things Land Rover, never quite goes to plan. Looks like Jeff's Land Rover's got uh, an issue of some sort. We just stopped on the motorway on the hard shoulder. Never a good, great place to be. But uh, fingers crossed the lorry drivers are awake at this time in the morning. They won't run into us. So that would be bad. So we're limping into a service stop. Guys. Limping. <laughs> Doing like, I don't know, four miles an hour. The front vehicles. Left, so, first left. Sounds like the bearing has collapsed on one of the wheels. Which is another feature of Land Rovers. Um, so I don't know what that means exactly. I mean, we can obviously repair it, but that's several hours work. So uh, we'll, we'll go look. Chaps. We'll go look. or something waiting for maybe going to be here another hour or something we'll just move forward a bit so we'll see and then hopefully we'll get across the border dump the gear and then come back the other way who knows how long that'll take time will tell you can't quite see it but just if i point my finger over there the queue i've made it all go out blurb the queue goes probably about a kilometer back now we've moved up quite a bit so our vehicles and there is the border post. You just see, just there, it's on my finger. So, but it's taken us two and a half hours to get this far. So we'll see how long it takes us to get uh, over the border uh, so we can drop the kit. In real close now, 
Um, so that thing that was the end of my finger is now there. We are, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vehicles to go over the border. And over here, so the border's there. And over here is the kind of uh, reception centre for those that are walking over the border. Uh, and you can see lots of buses lined up. You can see tents so they can get aid. There's lots of humanitarian aid uh, just over here. And uh, they can get on a bus and be shipped into the local town for the reception centre. So that's what's going on here. side we've done passport control and we're waiting on our documents I'm not sure exactly what's happening Joanna who is our Polish guide um, and Ukrainian and Polish are similar or at least the Ukrainians can understand the Polish um, so we're just waiting for the, her to come back with the documentation etc so we're just all sat here waiting so five hours to get over the border and then we've probably been uh, maybe 20 or 30 minutes uh, here waiting looks like it's changing the guards as well as a lot of uh, uh, border guards moving in and around Ukrainian military etc but uh, hopefully we'll be over soon slip of paper we need to give to these guys at this checkpoint over. Oh sorry. Hello, yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, slip of paper. Yeah, there was a passport somewhere. Yeah. Have light here? Yeah I do. Put this there. There you go. Okay. Can we tell them on yeah? Yeah. Can we tell them on this? Yeah, I did. I don't know if they yeah. heard. Try again. Mm -hmm. Guys, now they're asking for these white pieces of paper which you have with the passport, just to give it to them. Okay? The guy in the yellow jacket, he will yeah. take us to the okay. place where... The guy in the yellow jacket. I love this. Quite a key to get back in
half past the 11 at night. Uh, we've been through the border. That's done complete. Got my roof tent set up in the Land Rover. So I'm sleeping tonight. But there we're in the middle of a lay-by, basically, a big lay-by. And the rest of the team are setting up tents and uh, other stuff. And we're going to sleep in the back of the trailer or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, so, uh, it's been a long, long day. We were up, well, we had breakfast at half, breakfast at half seven this morning, and it's now half eleven. So yeah, long day, emotional day, but good. Yesterday I split from the convoy, because uh, I'm heading to Frankfurt, they're heading back to Calais. Uh, and so I looked for a quick hotel um, to stay in last night, and I, and I found this place just off the autobahn. Bit, bit crazy, just give me a bit of a some kind of beer keller place, amazing. I'll walk back to the Land Rover now. So, a little bit of a story. So, driving along the um, autobahn at about 65 miles an hour, and the front prop shaft fell off. That's quite an emotional experience. Um, half of it fell off and went off back, and the others managed to avoid it because I was at the front. Um, but uh, the rest of it stayed on and continued to bang and bash and destroy the floor. Uh, luckily, no, it doesn't look like any massive damage done, uh, but there is a big uh, hole in the floor and uh, obviously we then had to take it off, which we managed to do. So that is now in the boot here. I'll show you that. So I now have, that's the, this here, this is a prop shaft. Quite a long thing, should, should be longer, the rest of it's missing. Uh, so that was a bit emotional, uh, which also means that I am now in uh, two-wheel drive only, which hopefully will be just fine. So that was great. Got here, got out of the vehicle, locked up the front door, locked all the other doors, went to the back, and then just said, ah, actually I need something out the front. Came to open it, can't open it. Key wouldn't, key doesn't work in the lock. So it's not, not turning. So now I am locked out of the vehicle as well. If you don't love Land Rovers yet, oh, you will do. They are brilliant. And this side, which is the only other place because we have no locks on the back anyway, um, was already knackered and I hadn't replaced it. So this, the key won't even go in this side. So, uh, bear with me because I'm gonna have to break in to the car somehow. Uh, so, wait for that one. I'm gonna figure that out now. This one, I want it to be on the right. So it's Friday, it's, I don't know what time it is, it's quarter to ten here in France. I'm at, on the tunnel, Maxine, I'm now on the tunnel. The vehicle made it, she made it, despite uh, being in two-wheel drive, loft a prop shaft um, yesterday. I've got a rear diff oil leak, the locks aren't working, you name it, it's, it's all falling off. Um, but looks like, well, not looks like, Unless the train doesn't go, we will now make it back to the UK. Uh, and then hopefully I'll make it home three or four hours, drive home, and we're all good. One adventure. <laughs>